So far, the final section of our app, this one down here, simply shown a simple text view with ever check amount the user entered. Now it's time for the most important part of this whole project. We want this text view at the bottom to show exactly how much each person has to contribute to the final payment. Now there are a few ways we can solve this, but the easiest one also happens to be the cleanest one, uh, by which it means it gives us code that's clear and easy to understand. We're gonna add a computed property to our view to calculate the total value. This has to do a small amount, a small amount of mathematics, which is this. The total amount payable per person is equal to the value of the order plus tip percentage divided by a number of people. Hopefully, fairly obvious. But before we can get to that point, we first need to pull out how many people there are, what the tip percentage is, and the value of the order. That might sound easy, but as you've seen, this value here, four people is off by two, because it starts at zero of two people, one, three, and two for four. So we'll fix that. So we'll make a new computer property up here in our content view that will make a, a total per person name. There'll be a double, and it'll do all the work of getting the data ready. What's the correct number of people, how much tip to leave, and so forth. So below tip percentages, I'm gonna say var total per person is a double and then calculate the total uh, per person here. I return zero in the meantime. Uh, and this returns zero so your code doesn't break while I'm talking to you. But of course, we're gonna replace this thing here, the comment calculation, with the actual calculation. Now, inside here, we're gonna figure out how many people there are by, by reading number of people here and adding two to it. Remember, this has the range of two through 100, so we're gonna add two to make it add up to the right, right number here. So we'll start out with this. Let people count be the double of number of people plus two. So we're converting the value to be a double here rather than a simple integer because ultimately it has to be used alongside our check amount, which is a, a, also a double. For the same reason, we're gonna convert our tip percentage to be a double as well. So I'll say let tip selection be the double of tip percentage. So now we have our input values. It's time for our mathematics. We can calculate our tip value by dividing our check amount by 100, then multiplying by tip selection. So multiply by 20, for example. We can then calculate the grand total by adding the total check amount to the tip amount. And finally, divide that by people count, how much per person, including tip. Once that's done, we can return the amount per person and we're done. So this return zero part here, let's leave that now and replace it with uh, let tip value be our check amount divided by 100 multiplied by tip selection. Then our grand total, that's going to be our check amount plus the tip value. How much tip's gonna be worth? And finally, our amount per person that's going to be the grand total value divided by people count. And finally, we can return amount per person. That's our finished property. So now this thing gives us the correct value per person, including tip and so forth. We can change the final section of our form all the way down here. We have this check amount here that needs to be total per person show the correct total per person, including the tip. And now hopefully let's press Command R now, you can see what you think. So I'll say my total came to uh, 50 bucks. Uh, 50 please, delete <laughs> that, 50, there we go. Uh, and I'll leave a 25% tip, it's 15 bucks to two. 20%, uh, 15 bucks. And it makes sense if you think it through, we have uh, $50 here, we add a 20% tip, makes $16, and then we've got four people, so that's $15 each. If it were just two people though, it'd be 30 bucks each. So, as you can see, all the values we marked as state up here. Changing any of them, the tip amount, number of people, uh, check amount, so forth, tip percentage, sorry, um, any of those recalculates the whole form automatically every single time. 
Hopefully you can now see what it means that SwiftUI views are a function of their state. When any of the state changes, the views automatically update to reflect that.